So hey guys, today I just thought we'd do a quick update video. I've been a little bit behind on updates of repairs and things of that nature uh, lately, but this is the DeWalt DCD996 cordless brushless hammer drill. And this is the same hammer drill that we did a video on. I have a link right here if you're interested. We cleaned out the speed control potting and found well, these fuses were not blown, but we did find that these fuses, they seem to have tombstoned on us. So I, I took the board out after we removed all the potting that is, we took the board out and I simply soldered back on those fuses that I wrongly said may have been 3.15 amp. And since I didn't need them, I didn't find this out. But when you look up that V on the fuse, that there's a lot more than to just one a uh, name brand that uses V on a fuse. And I have seen some this rated V. I'll try to have a link in the description to show what I think that might be since we don't see a actual name brand here to, to verify. But I believe that V is gonna be a 30 amp fuse. And even though it's small, I don't believe it's gonna be a three point, I think it was 3.15 uh, amp fuse that I think little fuse shows as a V. So I believe this is gonna be the different name brand. So I'll try to have an example up here of a Borns or a Bell uh, fuse that, that may be similar to a 30 amp uh, higher end rush uh, fuse. So real quick here to show you what's going on with this one. This did run a while with the fuse soldered in and there's no actual solder issue here. Of course, I did use what I had, and I had the original fuse that checked good, but I, I did know when those fuses got kind of picked off, they tombstone and they were probably fine. When I was picking off the potting material and I flicked those fuses up, it seemed like they was almost loose, but it may have been that they had just tombstone, and I guess I could have peeled off part of the end. So the fuse doesn't look in bad shape, but it's just not making connection. So I think it's between the solder end and the fuse ceramic part itself. And what I'll try to do is I'll, I'll try to get this all removed off camera. Since I did this on the last video, I'll try to get this removed and we'll get the board under the microscope and we'll get a little bit closer look than this right here. I'll give you before I start taking everything loose, I have a battery hooked up and I'm going to go to my DC amps. go to my 10 amp because with this motor not even hooked to the gearbox hopefully hopefully we won't get above if that's a 30 amp fuse right hopefully we won't get above that it we do have a chance that we could blow the the 10 amp fuse in here but i think we're going to be okay just testing in this in this case because we we see all that all that happens is maybe the capacitor charges up when i when i touch it but so as we see here doesn't do anything if I if I charge that cap up by going across this fuse, we can tell it make contact. And if I can carefully give it just a little bit of throttle. So Keep charging that cap up. Okay, so I, if you see the analog bar graph here, we are going up higher than a 3.5 amp fuse, a 3.15 amp fuse would allow. So, so I definitely think just running this with no load whatsoever, going over two amps, I don't think loaded up with a gearbox and heavy load with a drilling, hammer drilling. I do not believe a 3.15 amp fuse is correct for this. And I still could be wrong. I have no documentation. Just again, simply going by finding out that some of these with V markings 
are different. So what I'm going to do at this point, let me, let me disconnect the battery here and let me show you right quick. Cause I think I forgot to show this on camera, but when I first received this, let me go to voltage first. I went across these in voltage because we're across that cap. It was open, of course. And if we ohm out this one, we are not good. We are good here still. Which that one was in better shape of the two soldering it back. And this that I believe is a PTC style uh, fuse under here is good. So we just have that one fuse and if I jump it out or test it, the drill seems to still be perfectly fine. So let's get this under the microscope and take a, a better look at it. Okay guys, so back with this cleaned up and back together. I don't want to take any uh, longer on camera than I had to, so I didn't show the disassembly and reassembly of this drill today. Since I did it in a previous video, uh, looking at the troubleshooting and repair of it. But if you can see that 30 amp fuse they replaced with a Z marking instead of the V, just the ones that I chose to get off of eBay. 1206 30 amp SMD fuses. So since shipping was so high from DigiKey or Newark, I went this route, but if you'd rather get the ones from them, I totally understand. I'll have a, a link in the description for for those of you, if you're interested as well as the ones I chose off of eBay. So yeah, um, pretty simple really. And I, I wanted to make a quick video, but yet I wanted to share. Since I did have a fail there on the mention in the previous video when I mentioned that that V could, as an example, it could have been like the little fuse 3.15 amp. And that was incorrect. I do believe that might be a 30 amp. Still not 100% sure since so many different manufacturers use a V marking for different fuse ratings. It makes it very difficult. But the way I saw this going, um, even though on camera, I don't think it showed above 2 amps. At one time, I did get a 6 amp reading when I first started testing and maybe I still had this hooked up. I can't remember. When I first started disassembling and checking it out, I know I did get like a six amp. And um, I, I don't think that's that's asking a lot, six or seven amps off the bus, even no load. So I, I still believe the 30 amp is the way to go on that fuse. Only the manufacturer data will really show that. And I can't find anything on it. If you can or you know, please share it. Our community, I really appreciate that. So... Without further ado, let's test this thing out. 
you'll see in my theory here, you can hold any water. This DeWalt 20 volt max that we did repair in a previous video, if you're interested in the links right here. Again, not to make this video any longer than it has to be. I hope you found this update helpful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And as always, I'll have some links in the description of this video. And any of those links that you find helpful of, of tools and interesting items that I like to use on my workbench. It really does help support the channel and it's greatly appreciated. So thanks again for watching and God bless.